So I want to tell you about my latest book, Making Life Easy, a simple guide to a divinely inspired life. Making Life Easy is a departure from my other books in that it is unabashedly spiritual. I talk about an astrological chart and how that's the soul's journey. I talk about reincarnation. I talk about all of the things that we typically never address in medical training. And this gives you the sort of broadening out of uh, what is possible in life. I've always written about these are the vitamins you should take and the mind-body connection. But the truth is that from the time I was 11, 12, 13, I have known about angels and I've been very interested in the work of the late Edgar Cayce, who was considered the sleeping prophet. Cayce would go into a trance and be able to diagnose all kinds of illnesses and then come up with natural treatments. He also believed in reincarnation and the journey of the soul. So long before I went to medical school, this truth of our being resonated with me. So I finally decided to write a book about what I've always believed and the stuff that if you also open your mind to it, will change your life and will give you a great sense of hope and peace. So it starts with, you're an eternal being in a body temporarily. So when you know that and you know that there's no death, it's really much easier to deal with life on earth. And also in the book, I talk about the impact of your thoughts and your feelings. Thoughts are the way the brain and the mind communicate with us. Emotions are the way that the body communicates with us. I have a whole chapter on things like affirmations, divine love healing, the kind of thing that creates what we call miracles. But they're not really miracles. They're just the way it works. When you are connected with the divine part of yourself, it gets to be very, very fun when you allow your life to be divinely led. Now, this is quite different from religion. It works if you're religious and you have a good religion, stick with that because the great spiritual truths are the same in all the great world religions. But what I'm talking about is being divinely led by a part of yourself that isn't currently in a body. And when you connect with that part, you really suddenly no longer feel like a victim. Life takes on a magical quality and it gets way easier. Because if you think you're being punished or you're the victim or whatever, if you're not in touch with that divine aspect of yourself, life is hard. Because we all go through suffering and we all go through stuff. But when you realize that there's a greater meaning, that it all has purpose and that your soul is leading it and guiding you and clapping for you, when you realize that's going on, life becomes easy. Everything else is like a booze cruise that you don't want to be on. So I hope you'll enjoy Making Life Easy, a simple guide to a divinely inspired life.